Today we're doing a simple garden experiment. The difference between starting seeds with seed starting mix or just regular potting soil. So today we're going to basically do an A-B test in which we point half of the cells in our seed starter, which is just going to be an egg carton like we talked about in a previous video. But half will be a seed starting mix and the other half will be the potting soil. Both of these are discount brand. They came from the dollar store. You can see it says American Seed. It's good to know just kind of as a perspective, we're looking a net weight of 0.2 pounds for the seed starting mix and a net weight of eight pounds for the potting soil. And they both cost only a dollar. So obviously to the extent one could have successful germination with the potting soil, it would be much cheaper to buy that than the seed starting mix. So this is just, you know, a test to see how it goes. My hypothesis is that we will have better germination with the seed starting mix, possibly even having some moisture control issues with the uh, potting soil. But this experiment will tell us. One of the first differences we're going to see right off the bat is that the potting soil is already nice and moist. It's a little bit clumpy, but it already has moisture. You don't have to add moisture to it. But it's not quite light or fluffy as compared to the seed starting mix which has no moisture, is very, very dry. It'll actually make a little cloud of powder if you shake it a little or whatever. But it is very, very light. It's probably base of peat moss and not much actual soil exactly in it. So it's much different. It's I think that's probably why the, the moisture is a lot different because this will wick up the moisture uh, that we put on the lower level of the tray uh, much better than the soil actually does. I think the soil also will compact a lot more easily, uh, but that's just a basic of where we're going to start with the two. I'll probably add a lot of water uh, to the seed starting mix before we go. So let's go ahead and plant out that seed starting mix sped up here for you. And we're just keeping it on the one side here. And now let's add the potting soil on the left side. So we have a, a full test with the potting soil on the left and the seed starting mix on the right. And then we can put the same basic seeds on both sides and see how they do when we're growing them. So let's go ahead and plant out some seeds. All right, I'm just gonna go through some seeds that I would be planting either way. And I'm gonna put them on both sides. The first here are saved black pearl pepper seeds. And it's on both sides, the front right. And next we've got Berry's Yellow Tomato. No, just FYI, I wouldn't actually suggest putting tomatoes and peppers in the same seed starting kit uh, because tomatoes are going to go much quicker they're going to germinate quicker and be growing a lot quicker at the beginning um, so it'd probably be better to have them separate so you could uncover the plastic for the tomatoes earlier and not have to worry about your peppers drying out 
Um, but for the purposes of this germination test, I'm going to go ahead and, and put them all together and, and I'll try to figure it out uh, and hopefully still uh, be able to salvage both the peppers and the tomatoes. When I start my seeds, I like to sometimes leave some on the surface and actually put some down below, but um, it's up to you. Uh, they, they can germinate in either place and you don't have to deeply sow pepper or tomato seeds. So next up, we've got the Scotch Bonnet Pepper. Anyone here who happens to be a member of the Pepper Lovers community on Google Plus, um, they have several competitions for different grow outs and uh, the number of pepper seeds that you'll end up getting. And I'm in the Scotch Bonnet contest and I'm actually you know, just starting these now with, with this experiment. Um, so hopefully they germinate well. Um, I, I'm not really expecting to, to win or even really do very well compared to some of the others in that Scotch Bonnet growing, just kind of doing it for fun. Next up, we have some seeds that I actually saved from a jalapeno that I got from the store. It was a very large jalapeno. And so this might not be the best thing to have in a germination test. It was not necessarily a very ripe jalapeno. It was still green. And um, I, I saved the seeds from it just because I wanted to see if I could save those large jalapenos. They weren't actually that hot of a jalapeno anyhow. But anyhow, it's an A-B test. We're putting them uh, on both sides. So uh, kind of in that, that center cell on either side on the top is going to be that big jalapeno from the store. And you know, if it doesn't germinate on either side, it'll tell us nothing for that cell about the actual test, but it, it's good enough for, for our test. The next are actually going to be tomato seeds that I saved on a paper towel. So I'll actually be putting in a piece of the paper towel that has tomato seeds stuck to it. This is a different way of saving tomato seeds that I might go into detail in later in the year. But for right now, just both side. These are pearly pink cherry tomatoes. The next ones are saved from what is called a flavor bomb tomato. Now that's actually a hybrid um, and, and uh, like a copyright tomato and everything, but it's uh, tomatoes I bought from the store, basically cherry tomatoes. I think they're very good and um, I've actually saved seeds from them before and they turn out very well, whatever the um, breed actually ends up being. So let's put it on both sides here. Next up is the Prax Cherry, also saved on a piece of paper towel. And then since this is something of an experiment, I'm going to try some different types of seeds too to see if we can get different results growing different types of things uh, in the seed starting mix. So here I'm putting in some thyme seeds. Pretty heavy amount of them here. And I'll put them here too. Here we go. All right, thyme seeds are in there. And in the final one, I'm gonna put in some spearmint seeds. 
here we're putting in the spearmint seeds. Experiment seeds and of course some over here too all right that'll give us a little perspective to how some herbs grow in these two uh, different mediums okay after a day or so I'm gonna probably fill this reservoir here underneath with water so that they can both attempt to wake up and kind of you know get a level amount uh, to start I'm just going to use this spray bottle and just spritz the top of course I did already moisten the seed starting mix but the soil had its own moisture and but we're, we're adding this uh, spritz we'll just do it for now get things kicked off well and get them ready to germinate All right, now we're going to cover it with some plastic wrap. Here we are. And that'll just kind of hold in the moisture on both sides. And then we'll put it down under the grill lights. I will update you as we go along about the progress of these seeds. Okay, after one day, nothing is up on either side. And uh, this just shows what it's like down under our grow lights with the plastic wrap on. And we're just gonna wait here until we see something germinate before we take off that plastic wrap. So that's one day in, and we'll update you as we go on. All right, here we are on day three, and it looks like our thyme seed is coming up over here in the seed starting mix. Now let's look at the comparable cell in the soil. Wow, you see they're coming up there too. Maybe not quite as thick, but they're coming up after three days um, on both sides. It's maybe a little less robust. So far, looks like we have sprouts either place. It's possible that the ones on one side broke a day before the others because I didn't check every single day, but I mean, after three days, they're both up. So nothing very clear. And I am not seeing anything else sprouting yet. So here's our, our first, and I'd say inconclusive so far for the experiment. All right, it is day five. The time seeds are still very much up strong. The comparable ones over here though, it seems have, have pretty much died off uh, it must must be a bit of a moisture issue uh, maybe it's not really wicking from the soil as well um, from the water below but I see some of the actual pepper seeds that are going now and then we'll monitor what the moisture is a little bit better on all of these So when I originally recorded this, I didn't notice that that extra paper towel on the right side center cell actually got caught up in the uh, plastic wrap as well. And so I should have rescued it, but I didn't. So uh, we really don't have a test for that flavor bomb style tomato. But when we look, we do have some tomato seeds that are really germinating well on the seed starter side and not so much germination a little germination on that one seed there uh not really any up here 
Um, so on, on the soil side, not as well as the seed starting side for right now. Um, and just want to check the, the amount of, of moisture here. And I think it's important that we do fill the reservoir. And so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I've added some water here. I'm gonna just put the cells back in. And it's running out somewhat because I probably got the water level a little high, but that's okay. Now let's go ahead and use that spritzing method to make sure the tops of the uh, mediums are, are well saturated. I anticipate I perhaps should have been spritzing a little bit more frequently. My method here isn't necessarily to try to really um, use a, a controlled experiment in the sense of using the same amount of water um, and same amount of spritzing on either side. Really, I'm testing whether we can use the different growing mediums, no matter what amount of water. So uh, that's really what I want to test. So I'll, I'll keep spritzing more on the soil side if I need to, to keep it wetter, if that is what's necessary to give it the best chance to grow. Because really what we're testing is, is more of an economic issue. Can you use the seeds, the soil rather than the seed starting mix? But either way, here we are in uh, day five, All right, it is day 16 and we see it a lot more definitive. We can see even the pepper plants here are starting to sprout. And up there, the spearmint, we've even got a little spearmint up. It looks like every single cell on the seed starting mix side has sprouted, not as much on the soil side. So um, we do definitely have some sprouts over there, um, but it's just not quite the same. Let's see, it looks like some a couple tomatoes sprouted at the bottom, uh, one tomato up in the middle right on the, the soil side. So I guess this is starting to show why we use seed starting mix. It's not um, a perfect test method, but, but the results seem pretty clear. Just look at the comparison between the two sides. So I guess we can call this experiment it definitely does help to use seed starting mix, although you can get seeds to start in straight soil. And if you enjoyed this video, please do check out our other gardening experiments. And please subscribe to the channel for more updates and great gardening content.